Hi. So I just did a reading and didn't record, um, but I saved all the cards and maybe I can go through it faster because I don't have to do all the shuffling. So first, it's for a weekend reading and what came out was the Prince of Swords Gemini Chariot. So some air energy coming through, any of the air signs, um, a lot of thought. A lot of mental kind of things going, conversations going on. Um, then we got the Prince of Wands, Sagittarius Chariot. That's a lot of fire energy coming through. And they are a partner sign. Partner signs, I feel like, are sort of like love-hate relationships. Like you either love that person or you can't stand them. Um, you can work out that way with opposites. So they're just kind of, that's how partner signs work. Um, and then third card, we got a six of pentacles and I said, getting what you need had come to mind. So and that was what came up on for Wednesday. And then in the talk deck, we got the Prince of Cups. So more Prince energy. And I was saying, I think of the princes as mutable signs, the knights, the princes, whatever as mutable signs because they're always in motion. So this could be Pisces. Um, we got the Seven of Pentacles. Um, which had come up for Monday and the stock market and contemplation and things like that. Um, and the cards for the week ahead, I mean. And then as last two, we got peace and as the two of swords and power is the four of pentacles, which is always reminds me of a power plant. And peace, maybe something at intersection, pivot point, turning point. It is hot. Um, so then from the this is just like an experiment to see if this even records then from the Archangel Oracle got spread your wings and he's saying it feels good to sit up straight um, and divine order spread your wings Archangel Ariel do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you're ready to soar Divine order, Archangel Raguel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. And I said that's meaningful because we got in the Oracle cards for the week ahead, we got the Magician as one of the first cards that popped out. And so um, I feel like that speaks very much to looking past an illusion in order to see the underlying order, seeing how things really are, seeing the truth behind the curtain, um, seeing how someone really is, um, seeing them how they are without a mask on, that kind of thing. And then from the Pixie the Norman, we got the birds again, more communication. In the background is the strength card. And you know, it's long conversations, a lot of talking, a lot of seven of swords, more swords energy. I didn't even read from it because that's pretty much all it says, but the background is, this card is made up of the background of the strength card. So, and then from the golden Nostradamus, got number one, which came out right after that. So number one, the magician is number one, makes sense. Um, the cat, it's called the cat, and on the bottom we got the key. So, it was not good. The cat, I felt like, goes with um, divine order and seen past the illusion. 
With sweet little words and a pleasant face, the traitor convinces and gains your good graces. An ill omen card that predicts betrayal or must encourage you to reflect on trust you've under, under, undeservingly placed in someone or in a situation you believe to be safe. May predict unfaithfulness and love. And then I read number 16 as well, which I felt very much spoke to spread your wings. The key. While a downcast are fast asleep, like the blissful, they have no need to weep. This card announces the opening of new doors. Doors, keys, you know, many opportunities and overall improvements in the quality of life and good fortune. Open yourself, spread your wings to new possibilities, and you'll be lucky. So looking, keeping your eye out for some sort of new venture, new opportunity, new something could be even just in going to a new place, a new restaurant um, that leads to something else and just, you know, something you see on the menu makes you think of something and that makes you nostalgic for and it leads you on an adventure, you know, you never know. Um, so trying new things this weekend, talking a lot, maybe catching up with old friends. Um, Divine order, seeing past any illusions, any keeping any creeps at bay, um, and seeing how things are working out, I guess. Maybe there's the hermit also was on the bottom of the card, and that also of the first deck I pulled from, um, and that is Virgo and ruled by Mercury. and. Um, I said it was a very introspective card and could be you just, you know, if you're not having long conversations, you're thinking a lot about things in life. Um, but anyways, I hope this was insightful for you and you enjoyed the reading and I might do this over since it didn't record the first time and, you know, just to be as, like, authentic in real time as I can. Um, Maybe I'll just do this over and see what else comes about later on. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed the reading and that you have a good start to your weekend. Bye.